Hi friends. I don't want to, it's too messy. Hi friends. How are we doing this amazing Thursday? How is everyone? I'm just drinking um, bubbly, mango flavored bubbly. How are all my friends? What are we doing today? Anna eating string cheese. So, me and my friend Rachel, we're trying to figure this out. We started with like a 4 by 6 and then we ended up with a 6 by 8 toaster. Hey Josie, how are you friend? What are you doing today friend? I've been obsessed and wanting to make this toaster that I saw at the Doodlebug website. But I don't have a die cutting machine. And so I've been thinking about it for days and days. And me and Rachel were talking today, which is Rachel Scrappy Happy. Hi, Tina. Welcome. Hi, Tina. Welcome. Tina is from Finland. Um, Josie, I am great. I finally figured out what to do with this toaster. I've wanted to figure out this toaster since um, probably before before my bag box, like this one. Before I created this one, this specific bag, I've been thinking about that toaster, but I thought like there's no way I'll be able to figure that out because, you know, I think at that at that point i thought the only way i can do it is with an svg and then hi pia hi gina craft amazing guys is pia and scrapanology is my friend gina thank you for being here guys you guys are the best hi renee how are you renee welcome Hey, Em. Oh, my God. My girls are here. So I was just telling the backstory of how this came to pass. And I was looking at Pinterest. And they had this. Um, yeah, the toaster. So this is the toaster. We're going to create the toaster. But, yeah, this is it. This is it, Pia. This is supposed to be a toaster, but um, the Doodlebug toaster was just a decorative toaster. And so me and Rachel were talking about it, and I'm like, you can't just have a decorative toaster. I have to have a purpose for it. So the plan is we're going to have, there's going to be a toaster in here. So this is going to be a toaster, and we're going to put... Um, what is those, what are those called? The toaster pops? Hi, Wandy! Welcome! Pop-tarts? Is it pop-tarts? The super cute pop-tarts. I'm sorry, my phone is going bajingles with some texts. Sorry about that. Oh my god, the toaster I saw on Durabag. Yes! Oh my god, M. <laughs> pop-tarts, yes. So I was thinking, let's do pop-tarts inside. And the pop-tarts will... The Pop-Tarts will be disguised as an embellishment book. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to finish it all in one sitting. But definitely we're going to make the toaster. So I hope you guys are okay with that. Because it's going to be a project. I've already created it. Um, I'm just going to use a prototype. Because it was a major construction on my part. Most cute. I wanted to try and recreate it too. M, um, me and Rachel were looking at the website and it doesn't give you an SVG for it. That's the thing. The Pop Tarts. Yeah, they would be cute shakers. Wait, who's Joanne? Did Joanne join? I didn't say hello to her. I'm good. I can't stop thinking about the veggie car I watch you make. Oh, yes, Renee, you have to try it. You can put veggies. You can put cupcakes. You can put anything in that stall. 
Sorry if you hear the beeping. So this is, so we just figured out we'll just make it into a container. So this is going to be the container of the Pop-Tart. You We can make it into a mini album or an embellishment book. But I think it's going to turn out super cute. Um, Check out the doodle bug. It just is amazing, but... I feel like there's no SVG for it. Rachel was trying to find the SVG file for it, and it's not there. I was going to try to figure it out. I don't have a machine to cut out of SVG. Exactly, M. So this is this is it. What I did was this is a this originally is a six by eight paper. So you just get a six by eight paper, cut it into whatever toaster shape you like, and then I snipped, I snipped half an inch on here and half an inch on here. And then that was the body of it. That was the top. And then the bottom part, let me give you guys some measurements in the middle of making the market stall. Yay, Gina, market stall. Hi, Eileen, my cousin. How are you? So we're trying to make a toaster. I just did this prototype. Um, I will explain to you guys the mechanics, but it's a little bit kind of bits and pieces because it's such a big project i decided i'm just going to use a prototype hi adriana oh my girls are here i love it so this is the prototype but we're going to use it for an actual project might as well so what i did was i did two layers the first layer this is the sturdy layer because I know that th this is just made out of paper. I know that I'm going to cover it with a decorative portion anyways, just to make it sturdy. I woke up 6 a.m. I thought I was catching you live, but you were off already. Yes, I only did the live um, just to show this. What do you call this again? The shower curtain handle. We It was super, super quick. I just wanted to um, have everybody buy the shower curtain. Um, Adriana is coffee mom life. Yes. So I was bored last night. Um, it was like three in the morning when I started. Anyway, so my, my husband lets me sleep. My husband is my hero. He's just so good to me. Anywho. So the construction of this base is you have to construct it first. Let's get the measurements. I will put the measurements the best that I can because it's a little bit hard to explain. Hi, Emma. Hi, Emma. We're making a toaster. And it's disguised as a toaster, but it will contain a Pop-Tart embellishment book. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, my friends are here. So cute. I'm not drinking vodka, guys. That is a bubbly. I am all in here right now. <laughs> I saw it in the Doodlebug website. So we tried to find the SVG for it. It's not that I, I have an SVG cut, like a, a cutter, but it would be good for you guys who do have it. But we can't find it. <laughs> no vodka. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's too early. <laughs> It is 3.40 here in California, so not no drinking yet. I normally drink, if I do, is after 10. <laughs> and then that's going to be a crazy life. <laughs> anyway, so the construction is, you have to construct the bottom piece, which is this one. This is super easy to construct. It's just 6 by 8 two sheets of 6 by 8 and then you just cut it like this. I snipped half an inch from this, half an inch from this to make this seven. And then this one is a five by 12. And I just scored it half on both sides. And then scored it two and a half, two and a half on both sides. Super easy. But this one I had to, this one I had to add like a smidge, like one eighth of an inch to make it bigger to accommodate the bottom portion. Nice, easy measurements. <laughs> I know. 
super easy. Let's just make it. <laughs> There's no SVG for it. I, we really tried to find it. Me and Rachel, we seriously tried to find it for you guys who have cutting machines. But because Rachel has a cutting a cutting machine. So she has a cricket. So she, she was going to use it. But we could not find it. I promise. We stocked Pinterest for it. Like really stocked it. Oh my gosh, this is clogged. I love the original creations. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Eileen. But this is, um, it's not my original idea. I saw a toaster from the Doodlebug website. Um, we couldn't find the SVG for it. So we can tell you guys, we can tell you how to to create it with your Cricut or with your silhouette but it is it is um yeah so we decided we'll just make it I told Rachel Rachel do you want to make it with a machine and then I'll make it manually because I don't have anything yes doodle bug um so if you go Pinterest guys maybe you guys are better researchers than I am but if you go to Pinterest right now go ahead Pinterest and search Doodlebug Toaster. It's the first thing that's going to pop up in your feed. And this is my version of that. Check it out. It's so cute. And the Pop-Tarts are adorable. They're smiling. They're cute faces. Yes. But I made this myself, like the measurements. I don't know how big that Pop-Tart, uh, that toaster is. But this one, I think, would accommodate a lot of goodies if you put a lot of goodies in there, right? I think because this is the paper that I'm working with and this is called She is Magic. I've been loving on it. I've been loving Dear Lizzie recently. I don't know. I'm just loving her. I have an awesome brain working out all these measurements and shape. Oh, thank you. You're making Pop-Tarts too. We can make Pop-Tarts. I was thinking I have these, but this is not the size. This is not the shape of a Pop-Tart. I think a pop tart is a little bit more curved. So I was this I use my trim my puncher like this I don't know what this is called corner puncher but maybe I just have to do the pun, the pop tart manually. I need to check some pictures and make sure that I get that. A bit awesome. Thank you so much guys. So that's the top part. And then we're going to do the back part, which is, I need to figure out how to make the plug. If you can see the Pop-Tart, um, the post in Pinterest, oh my gosh, they even have like a plug, you know, the one that you plug on the wall. It's so amazing. How do they do that? I was trying to like look at it closely. I did a screenshot and try to like figure it out in my brain like, oh, that's too hard. <laughs> Linda! On Doodlebug Blog, under the project, there's a link to the cutting file called Pastry and Toaster. Ooh! Oh, Gina! Perfect! So you guys can make it! That's perfect! Yay! The person who made it used foam board on the Pop-Tarts. Oh my gosh! Is Oh, let me let me check it real quick. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So you guys, hi Sabrina, hi Linda. We're trying to figure out this Pop-Tart. And wait, the original. How did you guys find the original? Because it's leading me to scrapbook.com. I'm looking at my computer. Doodlebug designs. So... Good job, you guys. You guys are researchers, like really amazing researcher. Let me copy that and go. I'm doing my computer right now. Let me see. Paste. Okay, so we're doing that. Oh, pastry and toaster. How amazing. How amazing. Okay, perfect. So you guys can do the SVG file then. Oh, so cute. 
What did they use for the for the pop tarts? Did you see the plug, you guys? Isn't that amazing? I want to create the pop tart too. Oh my gosh. Well, maybe this inspires you to create that. Hello everyone, by the person who made it said it's not a 3D project. She made it one. Um, hi Cheris! The Pop-Tart, you guys. I know the Pop-Tart, right? It's, it's so cute. And the file is 99 cents. Let's all buy it. We need a coffee maker and a frying pan. <laughs> I'm going to have them. Yes, Emma, you have to get the file. Oh, I, was, oh, I can't wait. Go buy it, and we all have pop tarts in our homes. <laughs> it was so cute. Isn't that cute? My gosh, I had to Jimmy rig this in such a way that it's going to fit. So I had to add and keep on getting. I'm getting it now. Yay, Pia! Oh, still one. Come on, one forty nine is legit. I'm almost falling asleep, but I listen to you. My grandchild is sleeping near me. I have to sleep too. Tomorrow's going to be a hard day. Oh no, sorry, Tina. We're gonna put you to sleep. I'm gonna sing a lullaby for you. My cricket and I are not good in good terms right now, but I will work with her. Yes, you have to, Pia. It's integral. Read what she wrote on the post and also the comments below for tips on what she made things from yay gina give us some tips because i didn't do that i didn't read because i knew i didn't have a paper trimmer so i just did this but let us know what she said what did she say about it is it so she said she made it out of um foam board well i have foam board I will cut it for you if you make, if my maker will be nice to me this time. Yay! <laughs> Toaster is useless without a plug, so I decided to add one. Two strands of chunky twine, two strands of chunky twine glued together created the cord. Layers of chipboard make up the plug. Oh my gosh, layers of chipboard. Two ch two layers of chunky twine well i can use you know what i can use this that i got from bb craft like this one maybe and i just attach them together is that chunky enough the large bottom on the side was made from layers of chipboard and foam board the smaller buttons were wood pieces that were covered with patterned paper wow That's amazing. That's amazing how we used to go to the library, you know, when I was in college. That's how old I am. But now we can just do research and transmit together and learn together. That's amazing. You can get a few strands of cord, twist them together. Isn't this an amazing project, you guys? Like the doodle bug toaster is the cutest thing ever. I'm channeling my inner Abby. <laughs> and my inner Emma. The ladies who make like, Eileen makes a lot of 3D projects. I, I'm channeling all of you guys. Because, you know. I just started doing this 3D-ness. A few strands of cord, twist them together. I'm looking at the strands. I'm looking at my the plug for my computer right now, and it's three strands, so I, I guess I have to do three. Need to make sure that this is... Maybe I could add, like... 
glue gun because my glue gun is so dependable. Yeah. It's coming apart. Let me get my glue gun. My glue gun is super dependable. Thank you. Hi, Ina. Thanks, Eileen. You're so sweet, my friend. You always give me confidence. The right moment. Because a live is real life, you know. There's no edits in, compared to a video where you're like, okay, that's not working. Cut. <laughs> I want to do like, um, like eyes for him. But I feel like all the hearts are overloading the situation. <laughs> Thanks, Wandi. Gina, when I'm encountering like, um, yeah, I edit mine. If I'm encountering like it's all messy, I just do cut. Or if it's taking me longer, I'm just going to do like, you know what? This is too boring for people. Let's not show them the boringness. <laughs> hi kayla still at work but thank you for being here we are just covering the top portion i love this paper so much you guys she is magic is just a magical collection i am definitely loving on it don't edit just add my fun music <laughs> I try to make it faster sometimes or slower if it's like super, super boring part. Oops, sorry. I think the eyes would be here. I need to have a smiley face. Let me try to check my letters. Let me check what it looks like. They are pretty papers. The heart paper is your favorite. I love this paper. What is my favorite? I think my favorite is the floral one. And I made a boatload of these. You know, my punch flowers. I made a boatload from scraps. So economical. Imagine this could be like two packs of embellishments, isn't it? I know what you mean it's annoying when I have to <laughs> yeah yeah that's what I was thinking was it Gina was it um that's what she did so she made a white one let me get a white sheet of paper I was thinking of doing that but I didn't know what shape so for for it to stand out that's right Flowers, though, are super cute. Thanks. Let me get back to... You made it, one Prolly. Yay! You're here. You're here. Hi, Zuma. Hi, Zuma. Welcome. The project we're making today is this one. It's a toaster. It's a 6 by 8 toaster. And it's going to store... A pop tart mini album mini embellishment album so that's what we're, we're, it's looking like we're trying to figure out the face right now she layered yeah she layered it with another piece of paper I saw that and it was just it was um, like an oval just an oval and then she wrapped it 
with twine. I do have twine. Let me get my twine. I do have this twine, this color. I think it would match perfectly. That's a lot of work. I did not anticipate this is going to be so much work, to be honest. <laughs> oh my god, look at that face. It's adorable. Okay, I need... I need it to be... I think I need to draw it. Because, yeah, I think it was flat. Ah, let's figure it out. Okay, so the face has to be... My gosh, my drawing. You know what? I need to get the... I'm thinking I need a bigger circle for the dimples. What part of the face looks like a game controller from a video game? That's right. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Gina. It does look like it. So I think what I need to do is I need to put all the pieces and then cut the paper. I think that would be a better idea. Because... Yeah, I'm trying to find a circle in my craft room that's bigger. Yeah, I think the dimples, you know, the dimples is bigger. Yep. So I'm going to get pink paper. Do we like this pink? Yeah, we like this pink. So we're going to do this pink for the cheeks. And the plan is I'm going to do the cheeks... So I'm going to put the pieces together first and then attach it to the white paper. That's my plan at least. You know, in my brain it was easier. You know what I mean? It wasn't this difficult. <laughs> so I'm going back and forth on you guys. So what white part of the face looks like oh this is so cool i bought two zippers yay two zippers you're gonna make the gym bag i'm so excited zuma it's so cute oh my friend crystal oh my gosh crystal how are you how are you doing today i don't know where that accent came from so we're cutting the cheeks Crystal, we're making a toaster. We're trying to figure it out together because, I'm sorry, I wasn't that... I thought I was prepared, guys. <laughs> but I just figured this out maybe about 3 o'clock. And I'm like, okay, I'm working tomorrow. I'm working Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And this is my only chance because... Uh, I need to make sopas tonight. So this is my only opportunity to get this done and to connect with my beautiful friends online when you have a project in your head when it becomes more trouble than you imagine i know girl <laughs> yes m but it's all figurable it's not like i think the hardest part was the construction of what you want to do with it because i wanted to make the project functional I don't think the actual project was functional, so. So I think. Oh, that's so cute. My goodness. Hi, creating for fun. What is your actual name? I know I have it on my phone and on my book. But tell the friends what your name is. I have your, I have it on my phone, but I'm using my phone to film. We are making this toaster from a doodlebug project. So this toaster will be disguised. It's supposed to hold an embellishment, a pop tart. And the plan is, here's a plan. I haven't made it yet. But the plan is to make a Pop-Tart embellishment book, either an embellishment book or um, a mini album. I think an embellishment book would be better. Laurie! Yes, Laurie! 
Guys, creating for fun is Lori. So this is what we're doing, Pop-Tarts. And we're trying to figure out the face. And I need to put... Sorry about my messy desk, guys. I'm not normally this messy of a crafter, but I just wanted to hop on in because I've been thinking about this project for a while now. Maybe a month. So, I'm so excited to finally figure it out. And I couldn't wait because I'm working. So, I'm working four straight days. Um, one day of class. And then... And that's why. Hi, Nancy! How are you, friend? I'm so glad you like the package I sent you. <laughs> Ooh, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go to the design again. So cute. I think I just need a letter C. I think I just need a letter C for it. If I can find a letter C for the smile, then we should be golden. That's what I'm going to do. I have these and I will get this. I will see. So I'm trying to figure out. Okay, dishes are done. Now I can craft. Yay! <laughs> Love the dishes is done. Hey, Sydney. Hi, Rhonda. I got to clean up. We just finished dinner. Okay, clean up. Clean up, M. What did you have for dinner? Guys, Sydney's in the house. Hi, Crafty Katie. Is your name Katie? Welcome. Guys, um, creating for fun is Lori. And Jersey Girl is... Ooh, pulled pork. Jersey Girl E is Emily. Pulled pork sandwiches. That sounds amazing. Crafty Katie, is your name Katie? Can we call you Katie? So I'm trying to figure out if I should cut the smile from this C. Because I really wanted it to be like a smile smile. Or I can manually... Like, this is another C that we can use, but it's, I think it's too big. Or I can just manually cut it with foam. Let's see if I can cut it with foam. I'll just, um, I guess I'll just wing it. I'm going to try to focus all my energy to create a smile. It's a very specific doodlebug smile. Okay, we can call you Katie then. Well, welcome, Katie. I hope you find something that you enjoy hanging out with us that you can, that you will decide to hang out a lot of times with us. We're an, a supportive, crafty community. Just supportive with each other. I'm not sure if I can do this perfectly, you guys. Fussy cutting is easier. Ooh, I'm looking at the picture. My gosh, the toaster is absolutely adorable. Seriously. Amen. We should do a Zoom craft with us. Ooh, yes, let's do it. Oh, thank you, Renee. I would love to. Crystal, that's an amazing idea, darling. I like to speak like that at work, and they think it's funny. It's not I don't talk like that to the patients, though. That's just to my co-workers, and they thought it was hilarious. I love it. And my kids talk like that, too, sometimes. It's not perfect. I'm trying to channel my inner Emma. Emma, I'm channeling you, darling. But I'm not perfect. You better. Is that okay? 
I don't know. It's still fuzzy. Is the cheeks is the cheeks too big, you think? Oh my gosh. What do we think, guys? Is it too big? Let me look at the photo again. It's too cute. So let me copy it. So it's a little bit separated. And then this one is here and this one is here. Oh, it's cute. I actually love it, to be honest. Oh gosh, it looks cute. I was going to ask, is that a British accent? <laughs> Just a little bit. I'm just trying to channel my inner Emma. Do you fancy it, Emma? <laughs> yes, we should Zoom. Oh, my gosh. We don't have to put makeup on Zoom, right? We just have to be ourselves. So I don't want to put makeup. Let's do Zoom. Oh, my God. How do you, how do, you do Zoom? How do you organize it? Because when I do Zoom at work, you just, somebody has to create it, isn't it? No makeup, yes. I forgot to. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I forget. Yeah, I don't know how to do my brows anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh, this toaster is going to be the cutest toaster in history. Adorable, darling, adorable. Oh my gosh, the glue is too big. Sarah is going to dry later. It's going to dry later. No problem. How do you organize the Zoom? I know um, Ara does Zoom. So adorable. Oh, so cute. Oh, it looks like chubby cheeks. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> oh my god toaster you are super cute okay this is it i have to put this symmetrical otherwise it's gonna be wonky eyes toaster which is gonna be horrid wonky eyes you know like what is that word cross-eyed I don't want it to be a cross-eyed toaster. Is this a cross-eyed toaster? Oh, my Lord. Please don't be cross-eyed. <laughs> Is this cross-eyed, you guys? Oh, my gosh. That would be comedic. No, it's cute. Nope, nope. Okay, I can put it. Duling. <laughs> I know, that's what I was thinking, Crystal. I was thinking, what's the English word for that? Download it. Then you get a code to give to others so they can join you. I have only ever one doing Zooming, Zoom gathering. I have Zoom in my phone. I don't know how to organize it. I just show up at work. Me too. Hmm. Dooling. <laughs> yes. I'm cleaning up at work. But I'll catch you guys when I get home. Okay, clean up quick so we can hang out with you, Kayla. Guys, don't forget when you go to the Dollar Tree, make sure you grab some shower plastic rods for the, you know, the shower curtain stuff. Because that could be handles for our baggies. So cute. So adorable. Oh my gosh, it's cute face. Drive safe. Shower curtain rings. Yes. Gina, you are just my angel. You just know what I'm thinking, but I can't say it. Okay, this is the, um, this is it. I have to make it perfect. Spot on. Spot on, mate. And, whoo, can't breathe. I can't breathe. This has to be perfect shape. Oh my gosh, how do I do this? Ooh, hi, Laika! Hi, Laika. How are you, darling? Welcome. We're making a toaster. So we're making the face for the toaster. 
what the hell? And it's Leica, you're gonna love it. You know why? Because it's it's um a mini album or an embellishment album. It's not it's lopsided. Oh, this is gonna be trouble for me. It is lopsided. Craziness. Oh my lord. That's really, really bad. And this is the part that I that I dread who like right there hi when Prolly. I just you know all this effort I just don't want to mess it up you guys how do I do it I need a guide I'm trying to find a thing in my room that's gonna guide me with the curvation looking around is this gonna be a good enough guide Wow, okay, Kilindo. Hi, Katie Rivas. You can use a small plate. Gina, you're a genius. Use a string. Ooh. Yes. This is perfect. Oh. That's perfection right there. I just need it to be a semblance of it was I was close I was a little close on it because we're gonna cut we're gonna cut it anyways but it has to be a little bit of a okay get a handle get handle on the punch hole punch to your right hole punch to my right oh the handle genius Oh, Emma, you are genius, darling. This is a little bit smaller. What about the scissors? No. Handle was better. I need a bigger one. Absolutely genius, Emma. An absolute genius. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. Just saying. Just putting it out there. Just in case you guys don't know. Handle. Oh my god, we did it. You guys don't require perfection. You're okay with imperfect. Let's do it. As long as I have some lines that I can follow, I'm good. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, I'm dreading working four days. I have a class. I have a skills class that I need to go to on Friday, which is my day off. And then my regular three days on in the ED. So that's all going to be fun. That's why I wanted to hang out with you guys. Hi, Terry. Hey, Terry. How are you, friend? We're making a toaster. So pretty much what you saw, we're making a face for the toaster. And this came from the Doodlebug website. It's super, super cute. I don't have a, a cutting machine. Or, a, you know, I have a Sizzix, but I don't have the S, you know, like the Cricut or a Silhouette. Where crafters will always think of unexpected ways to do things. Yes, Gina. Oh, my gosh. Hey, when... When are you coming to Sacramento? I can't wait to meet you in person. I cannot wait. And then we'll go to Walmart. And then we'll get you your ice cream, okay? If they don't have the ice cream available, I'll get you my I'll give you mine. I'll give you my spare. And then we'll have um we'll have coffee. Yes, I'm trying to do a lot of 3D projects without having to buy a silhouette. I almost gave up. I told my husband, Jules, I think I need a cutting tool. And he said, what? And then I said, nothing. <laughs> I was like, forget about it. <laughs> Jules, I think I need a cutting tool. It's like, what? <laughs> oh my God, it's so cute. I can't. 
My favorite ice cream is ube with cheese. Oh my gosh, girl, that is my fave too. My my daughter tried cheese ice cream and she's like, Mom, it's weird. <laughs> I like it. Hi, Kitushka. How are you, Kitushka? Welcome. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed already, I beg you to survive to subscribe because I need like 80, I think, to hit 2,000. I'm so excited. Oh my god, it looks so cute. Oh my gosh, do you love it? <laughs> it's absolutely darling. <laughs> I love cheese ice cream, yes. Especially if it came from the street. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like from the street vendor. <laughs> I love it so very much. Do I have to do this? Because it's I didn't plan on doing this. I don't want to put the string. Thank you. <laughs> it's too much work. But cheese ice cream is... Um, we have it in the Philippines, Sydney. When we were growing up. It's very interesting. It's called dirty ice cream because the street vendor sells it to you adorable it's yummy oh i'm gonna get um the matching stuff for this we'll just copy the toaster that they have which is the florals oh my gosh don't you think it's so cute oh my god don't forget to like the video yes please friends don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe because that's really awesome oh my gosh how cute are we are we cute? Yes, we are. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys. That's so sweet. Oh, I love this project so much. It's fantastic. Let's put it and let's put a little bit of 3D-ness onto it, shall we? Is that cute with a flower? I'm just trying to copy what's in the doodle bug thingy. It has flowers on top and a sentiment. So I'm thinking with um I'm thinking the freckles. I'll do it later. I'll do the freckles later with some nouveau drops. That'd be so cute. How about my beauty? I send you kisses from Peru. Ooh, I'm also a YouTuber and I, li I, I live in love with your projects. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Yes, kisses from Peru. I'll take it. I'll take it, Katushka. Do we want this? It's not appropriate, though. Wonderlust is not an appropriate. Yeah. I'm trying to find the flowers to match it. To make it fabulous. It's so sweet. Fantastic. Where's Patty? Patty, are you here? I am using our paper, darling. I think you're going to love this toaster, Patty. What are you? So I think that's cute, right? It's not super loaded. What do you guys think? Let me get a drink a little bit of my non-sparkly bubbly oh, let me clean up it's too messy guys do we like it so far do we like the flowers or do i need to add more what do you guys think it's very darling I think it's absolute darling right now. Flowers are okay. I don't need to add any more, right? Because I think the original project was kind of just up flowers to the side. <laughs> yes, Leka. I do know you, darling. <laughs> so I'm going to put this on i want to pop up the flower so i definitely need to pop up the face should i pop up the face or it looks weird 
Oh, it blends into the paper so much. Maybe let's back it up with blue. What do we think about blue? You know me and fussy cutting. Anything, anything, any project. So that I can fussy cut. I layered in here and fussy cut it. How's that? How is that for? Blue would be nice. Yes. Yes to blue. Hi, ice. Hi, ice. Sort of all over the face on the top and raised. That's right, Gina. Um, let me look at that. You are correct. You're my guide. Ooh. Oh, yes. So it has to be on top. That's right. Let's do that then. So I'm going to put this by here. Yep. This is what I'm going to put on top. And then on the bottom, on the bottom part, we're going to layer it. Gosh, this is so cute. This is so adorable. I hope you guys can create this one as well. Okay. Okay. That's right. It will make it stand out. So I'm going to fussy cut this one. It's not going to take a long time. Sorry about that. But I think this one will be there. Hi, Nick. Hello. Say hi to everyone. Are you alive? Yeah. Right there. Oh. Hi, guys. And Nico likes to say hi. Nico, they can't see you, you know, even if you're dancing. Yeah. This is where the camera is, Anak. Right there. See? Yeah. Gina saying hi to you. Terry saying hi. hi. Sydney. Eileen is saying hi. A lot of All people. my friends are saying hi to you, Anak. Tracy! Hey, Trace. I'm just doing some fussy cutting. I didn't leave. I'm just fussy cutting this so that we can have it stand out. And then we're going to put it on the... Um, don't you... Do you do you think... You guys think this is the right size? Hi, Ate Ina. Thank you so much. Nico already left. So, I, I love flowers. I mean, of course, toaster with a flower, with a face and flowers all over it. Sign me up. So cute. Hi, Bex. Welcome, Bex. We're making a toaster. We're making the f the flower that's going to go on top, like on the side of the toaster's face, because it's adorable. My Wi-Fi has been wonky today. Dollar Tree shopping craziness. Rach, welcome. This is what we were. <laughs> Remember, Rachel, this is what we're talking about before you went for the Dollar Tree. So I finally figured it out. And so, and Rachel, they found an SVG for it and it's $1.49. So you can do this and, and cut using your um, Cricut. <laughs> I figured out that I had to cut a part of it because I closed it up the last time when we spoke. I decided to close it and then I opened it back up because it, it won't accommodate it. I'll explain what I meant. I mean, oh my gosh, is this cute? Your toaster is adorable. Thank you. I can't believe it. This toaster is so cute. Okay, so I'm going to lay this flat, I guess. But the toaster. <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. I don't want to block your beautiful face. I think the toaster is gorgeous. <laughs> yes, I made the face, Rach. We just put some dots. And then used, you know, just a, the handle. Like what Emma said, the handle. Is this cute? Do we like the toaster this way? Or do you want me to add a little bit more? I think it's going to be too much. I think this is okay, right? What do you guys think? There's a little bit like a three second delay. Yep. 
Yes, Katie, the flowers are so cute. I love them too. Let me check if my flowers are dry now. Because you can add these tiny flowers. Let me see if it's dry. It's dry. It's dry. That's wonderful. I tried to tap some baby powder so that if you're going to send this to your friend, like in bulk, it doesn't stick to each other because the Nouveau drops tend to stick to each other. Hi, Zana. Welcome. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I am definitely gluing that right now so that you guys, since you guys love it, we are doing the gluing. Let me find my... So, since I discovered the joy of using foam board, like I didn't know that foam boards are amazing. Did not know that at all. You can put it anywhere and it's easier to stick. It's not going to melt. So amazing. Crafty elegance is Candace. I'm so glad my friends are all here, you guys. You guys are all amazing. Thank you for supporting me and supporting each other and hanging out. I love that you guys are here. Thank you so much. It's so sweet. After this, I'm definitely cooking sopas because that's for Dina. What are you guys cooking for dinner? What are we making? I love this color paper, you guys. This is so, such an amazing color. So cute. I love your lives. Thanks, Bex, you guys. <laughs> yes, I was bored last night. I couldn't sleep. Um, You know, when you're into that... You're in a funk where you're anxious about something. You don't know what you're anxious about. That's the funk I was last night. And I think the live really helped me. Kind of. My husband said, why don't you craft? And maybe that's going to help you. And it did help me tremendously. I love it when your, your husband is supportive of this passion. Oh my gosh. So cute. Eileen, if you guys, if you're ordering, if you're ordering from a local business, you are my hero because you're keeping the economy working. So order. <laughs> don't no need to cook, you know. You're helping the economy, guys. So you don't need to cook, okay? Just tell your husbands. <laughs> We're having sinigang. Oh my gosh. Love sinigang. Oh, I need to cook sinigang again. You guys are heroes of the economy, don't forget. <laughs> Gee, I want to go there too. Do you have a lot of rice though? Make sure you have a lot of rice because, you know. Oh, so cute. I can't. I can't. I want to eat sinigang right now. Oh my gosh. This toaster is the cutest. I knew I had to make that toaster. I've been thinking about it for months. But it's doable. Without an SVG, it's just a lot of measuring. Oh my gosh. Yes, the rice cooker is full. <laughs> I love it. Eileen will bring rice. No cooking. Ordering this weekend. Candice, you're a hero. You know, you're helping the economy, right, girl? Oh. Okay, let's get the toasting. Oh, my gosh. Sinigang is... Sydney Sinigang is... Um, 
like a Filipino food where you have like stew, like stew, but it's it's like sour. Guys, help me out. Sour something. The three D projects are just so cool. Thank you. Sort of pork stew. That's right. Let me. So now, thank you, Candice, for helping the economy. That's wonderful. Who has an SVG for this? So, Rachel, um, they were able to find it. Um, Gina found it. And Pia found it. So, make sure that you connect with them. You're going to put gold confetti. Yes, girl. It's a must. Every project has to have gold confetti from now on, okay? <laughs> if it's coming out of my house. <laughs> I made my daughter a princess carriage card yesterday for her birthday. It's so cute. Ooh! What collection did you make, Bex? What do you, what collection did you use, my friend? Um, Tamron based. Oh, I like it. What I like the sinigangwa if it's tender, like tender, right off out of the bone, kind of tender. I mean anything. Anything that's super tender is awesome. So this, I am using hot glue. This time. And I'm trying to figure out what's the difference. Is there a big difference? Hot glue versus um, regular glue. I think the hot glue sticks better. But you have to do it little by little, not like what I did earlier. So when you do yours, make sure that you put a little bit time on waiting for it to stick because it looks so much better. Because this one has like lifty bits on top. Little bit of lifty bits and you don't like that. So cute. You figured this out today. I'm so impressed. You're so cute. I got them Hobby Lobby. Yes, Adriana. I'm so glad you found it. And all of our projects will have gold feet from now on, right? Thanks, Rachel. That's so sweet. So you're going to notice that Rachel, look. Remember when we stopped talking? I was able to figure out how to put it inside. So it's not just a decorative element. I've not Filipino food, but I would love to. When you come visit me in California, Sydney, we will cook some for you. And we'll make you eat a lot of rice. <laughs> That's what it's all about. It's the soft cooked rice that makes it awesome. Ooh, that's too much glue. I think I'm gonna I think I need to get the barely barely arts bear glue I just ordered the <clears throat> the Sizzix Tim Holtz um, rosette dye so the measurements oh my gosh Adriana the measurements it's crazy <laughs> I, it will be a private session with you, friend, because, yeah, I adjusted, I adjusted it multiple times, and, yeah, it's not, that's why I suggest you just use your, use your SVG file for it, but I can give you the measurements, um, but you have to be patient with me when I give you all the details, okay, Adriana? Yes, I'm going to send you measurements because there's two layers of the 6x8 and I have to 
Let me catch up on some. Oh, that's adorbs. Thank you so much, Candice. Very Filipino. Yes, I love it. Love this more and more. Oh my god, Emma, thank you so much. If you ever need more time to stick down hot glue, use the embossing gun to re Oh, that's a great idea. <gasps> Moon Prolly, you're a genius. If you get the Barely Arts glue, I have a discount code you can use. Thank you so much. I would love that. Maybe you could do a tutorial later. Yeah, I'll do a tutorial later on how to assemble it because I have to explain everything. And I read. I need to remake it anyways. I need to remake this for my friend Pia, who's going to get a box from me. <laughs> yes, G. Hi, Olga. Welcome. This is what we made. We're making, um, yeah. So Rachel, I think that's a great idea. And then I'll add the Pop-Tarts, how to make the Pop-Tarts and recreating the Pop-Tarts in, in that tutorial. Hi, Olga. Welcome. This is a very supportive group of crafters. So don't be afraid to ask any questions. If you're super new, we're here to support you. Do you have an SVG? I can use my Cricut. Yes, Adriana, there is an SVG on this one. So all you need to do, so the first step is go to Pinterest and type in Doodlebug Toaster. After that, you go to the link, the original blog, and that's where you're going to find it. But I will do a tutorial on how to make this manually if you guys are interested. If you don't have, like me and M Emma, Emmy, we don't have um, a cutting, a cutting machine, and the pop tarts too. Yeah, yeah. I need to study the pop tarts. I wanted originally to do the pop tarts, but I want to make it into an embellishment book. I thought it would be so cute to make it into an embellishment book, um, but I need to figure it out. So I don't think we're going to be doing the embellishment book right now because I don't have any time. I need to cook sopas. But I need to finish this one. But wouldn't it be so cute? Like a variety. Let's. I'm going to do maybe a Pop-Tart mini album. A Pop-Tart memory decks. That'd be so cute. And then a Pop-Tart embellishment book would be so cute. Like what Gina said, the lady used um, foam board. That is so cool. If you go to Doodlebug blog under the toaster post, it's a list of what she used. That's amazing. Right? The embellishment book, Adriana. That would be so cute. And then it's going to be full of like pop tarts that has faces on them, cupcakes with faces. Oh my God, I cannot wait. Oh, my wheels are turning in my head. <laughs> that would be so cute. Click the pastry toaster. Thank you, Gina. You're the best. Thank you so much for telling everyone. Just imagine a Pop-Tart. Like, maybe a size. This is the size of the Pop-Tart that I'm thinking. And then, when you open your toaster, you're going to get your Pop-Tart mini album. And it has so many cute things with faces. Wouldn't that be adorbs? I don't have any Doodlebug. But they're incredibly cute. Oh, you don't need Doodlebug to to make this project you can have you can use whatever paper you want but the doodle bug has a lot of things with faces on them so you, this is not a doodle bug paper this is she's magic by dear lizzie paper i just like the doodle bug style is what i meant so you're okay sydney you don't need doodle bug thank you bex i thought that's adorable so eventually I'll figure out the handle because the original has a handle and um, a cord on it. So I think this is a cute color for cord. This is what I got from BB Crafts, you guys. And when I bought it, it was so inexpensive. I couldn't believe how cheap it was. And it's so thick. I'm going to get, sorry, I'm going to stand on my table because I couldn't. This one would be better, wouldn't it? I couldn't believe it. It took a long time to get to me, though, to be honest. Like, months. But, this cord is, I think, less than 7 bucks. And look how much it is. And I've already shared so much with my mom. 
So if you're looking for cord for mini albums, any cord in general to make masks, this is legit. I'm not going to make the, the plug right now. I'm going to figure that out. But I'm just trying to figure out if this is a good idea. Like, would this look cute stuck together as a cord? Yeah, that will be cute. And the size of this, my friends, it is 6 by 8. So cute. I need to cover this part because this is my prototype. It's still cute though. It's still cute. Maybe I'll cover it with this one. Oh yeah. Yes. I'll cover it with this one. It'll still be fantastic. It'll still be fantastic, wouldn't it? Guys, if you have a vision, go for it. Don't be afraid. Rachel encouraged me to like go for it and that's what I did. I just went went to town. I love that you guys are here and so supportive. I appreciate every single one of you guys. So you don't need number 1 you don't need doodlebug paper. You can do this manually. What I'm going to do in the near future, I need to make my desk be cute. To look at it every day. Yay! So cute. Thank you so much, Gina. Adriana, Gina is crapinology. She is just the sweetest. She's always ready to help with all the dimensions and everything. Isn't she awesome? Yeah, Coffee Mom Life is Adriana. You guys are friends now. It's official. Even took feet pictures. I need to put golden feet on here. That's for sure. That is my favorite move. That's my favorite part. Is to put the golden feet. To be honest. Guys if you need golden feet. Okay the golden feet can be found. At Hobby Lobby. This is very sturdy. Honestly. Sturdy. Sturdy little thing on there. I hope I didn't mess it up. Yep I did not. Okay, done, done, done. Let's get the feet. I'm so excited for this portion every time. I don't know why. It gives me so much joy. I'm not going to do the feet. I'm not going to do the... the Gina, I'm not going to do the doodlebug feet. I'm just going to do my golden feet. Is that okay? Because the golden feet is just adorable. So my next, my next project that I am going to give you guys will be the toaster embellishment book. I need to figure that out first. And I need to get crafting on all the cuteness that's going to go into it. Just so it's, you know, it's a complete picture. Should I put feet in the middle? Maybe I should. The more feet, the better. <laughs> The V. I love them. Oh my gosh. These are adorable feet. The more feet, the better. Ah, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. I'm sorry about my messy desk. I can just, I can just see the mess from, from there. Let me put all this back. It's so messy. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this project, my friends. 
Thank you so much for hanging out with me and chatting and being amazing friends. Thank you so much. I hope you had a great time. And don't forget, you can get this one and you can make your own using an SVG. But if you don't have a cutting machine, my next project is making a tutorial on all the measurements so we can do this manually. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. Creative minds are seldom tidy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. Sandra, where have you been? We missed you, my friend. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Sandra, we made this one. And it is a toaster that you... Next project will be a Pop-Tart embellishment book and mini album that we're going to put in our toaster. It looks so cute. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Eileen. Thank you, Sydney. Thank you, Manprali. You have no volume. Can you guys hear me? Ooh, I hope you can hear me. This is a mess. I'm sorry my table is a mess. But I loved hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much for giving me an hour and a half of your time to help me figure everything out. Thank you to my moderators. They're so amazing people. Don't forget to follow each other. If, if um, people have YouTube channels, don't forget to follow and support each other. We can do it together if we support each other. Um, if you have any questions, just direct message me in instagram that would be the best way to contact me let's get this project came together impromptu lives are fun yes you know me rachel i don't ever plan anything <laughs> thank you good night everybody all my friends i'm giving you a virtual hug virtual squeeze enjoy your dinner um i hope you have a wonderful day i might be a little bit silent in the next few days but i will construct the tutorial and get it all going i love you all thank you so much for your support don't forget to like and subscribe and i appreciate all of you stay strong stay safe have a wonderful crafty day my friends and this is christian signing off have a wonderful day the toaster says bye 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 bye